Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, I am making this video after a long time. Actually, I was out of station for a month. But from today, I will try to upload video regularly. And today in this video, we are going to troubleshoot one small scenario. We are going to troubleshoot layer 2 ether channel. See what is problem. Here ticket is, problem is, a junior network engineer has approached you indicating that Ether channel bundle C is trying to form between switch 1 and switch 2 is not forming, right? C is trying to form Ether channel between switch 1 and switch 2, but Ether channel is not forming. You need to solve this issue for her. See why we are forming Ether channel? Just to just to use both link between switch 1 and switch 2. Otherwise, SPAN trip protocol will block one link. Okay, so if I will bundle these two link, a spanning tree protocol will treat a logical link as a single link. Means Ether channel is used to bundle multiple physical link into single logical link and STP will treat as a single logical link of multiple physical link. Fine. So this is problem here. First of all, we will verify the problem and after that we will troubleshoot the issue. So see guys. Here I have access of both switch, switch 1 and switch 2. Let me show you uh, the output of show ether channel summary command. First of all, here we will run show ether channel summary command. And yes, we are able to see E0 slash 0 port is suspended. S4 suspended. This is a small s. Here you can see a small s is suspended and capital S is um, layer 2. Means it is a layer 2 ether channel. And E0 slash 0 is suspended. Let me check same output on switch 2 also. So ether channel summary. So on switch 2 also we are able to see E0 slash 0 is suspended. That means ether channel is not working between switch 1 and switch 2. Now we need to troubleshoot it. Let's okay, see. Problem can be misconfiguration of port. Problem can be misconfiguration. Um, mismatch ether channel configuration like you know in ether channel we have multiple mode we have three um, uh, method to configure ether channel we can configure ether channel by using LACP protocol we can configure ether channel by using PAGP protocol or we can use on mode and as you know these all are not compatible with each other like we cannot configure um, PAGP on switch 2 switch 1 and LACP on switch Two, or we cannot configure one on one switch uh, pro, uh, PAGP or LACP and on one switch on mode, right? So if you are configuring, if you are configuring PAGP on switch one, that means you have to configure same protocol on switch two also. You are if you are configuring on mode on switch one, on switch two also you have to configure on mode. If you are configuring LACP on switch one, then you have to configure LACP on switch two also, right? So this can be problem or problem can be can be mismatched port configuration like the configuration of all port making up ether channel on both switch should be identical for example all ports should should have same speed same duplex trunk mode native vlan configuration and allowed vlan configuration and port type like layer 2 port or layer 3 port these should be must match then only ether channel will work so first of all we should verify the configuration of port so let me show you how to verify it on switch one first of all i am going to check running configuration of e0 slash 0 so run interface e0 slash 0 but by using this command i can check running configuration of e0 slash 0 and here you are able to see Interface E0 slash 0, switch port, trunk encapsulation protocol over here is ISL, switch port mode access, this port is access, switch port node negotiation and port channel group 1 mode active. Mode active means we are using a dynamic protocol. So on switch number 2, mode should be active or passive. Mode can be active or passive only. Mode can not be on or cannot be dynamic, uh, sorry, desirable getting my point so on switch number two also we will verify mode is active or passive or something else 
fine so this port is access port encapsulation protocol is isl okay that is not a problem if this port is access port and we are using uh, mode active fine here now we are going to check running configuration of e0/1 so run interface e0/1 and see the running configuration of e0/1 guys switch port um, trunk encapsulation is isl that is fine switch port mode trunk this port is trunk o oh, 0/0 is configured as access port and 0/1 is configured as trunk port so here this is problem right and switch port no negotiation channel group mode 1 channel group 1 mode active so mode is fine we are using same protocol on both port so this is not problem here problem is 0 slash 0 is configured as access port and 0 slash 1 is configured as trunk port this is problem on switch number one first of all before connecting this this issue i am going to verify the configuration of ports on switch 2 so let me access switch 2 here and on switch 2 so run interface e0 slash 0 so see the running configuration of e0 slash 0 encapsulation protocol is isl that is fine switch port mode trunk switch port no negotiation and channel group one mode passive yes correct we are using same protocol on both switch right on switch number one we are using mode active and on switch number two we are using mode passive okay and guys on port number e0 slash 1 also we need to check running configuration so run interface e0 slash 1 so this port is also configured as trunk encapsulation protocol is isl switch port um, uh, no negotiation and channel group one mode passive that means protocol is fine and if you want to check modes so here what you can do interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 let's say I am not configuring any uh, ether channel protocol here, just I am showing you mode. So here I can run channel group and group number one, let's say mode and you can see, put the question mark here, you can see active means we are using LACP protocol and passive means also we are using LACP protocol. That means on both switch we are using same protocol, right? And auto mode means we are using PAGP protocol and desirable mode means also we are using the PAGP protocol and on mode means static ether channel fine so guys problem is here problem is on switch number one problem is on switch number one one port is access port and one port is trunk port maybe because of that ether channel is not forming so first of all let me correct it on switch one interface e0 slash 0 I am going to change switch port mode trunk I am going to change mode so here I have configured switch port mode trunk and now again I am going to run so ether channel summary command here. So ether channel summary command and now you can see ether channel is working fine. Now ether channel is working fine. This P indicating what? This P indicating bundle in port channel right. On switch number 2 also we can verify by running command so ether channel summary so ether channel summary and we are able to see now port channel i'm um, sorry ether channel is fine okay so this was one small troubleshooting of layer 2 ether channel hope you like this video if yes guys please hit on like button if you have any question any doubt any query please let me know in comment section thanks for watching that's all for today uh, we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye guys that's all for today